Good Monday morning, everybody. How are you? Lovely warm starts in the morning. Still haven't got any leaves on that tree at the back there. I think it's dying. But... Bit of a damp start this morning. We had a bit of a bit of dew come down, but it is a summer thing. Moving on. Looking outside at the sunny weather. Not. Because I can't see a window from where I sit. Neither can I anymore. It's not a bad thing. As long as the air conditioning is working correctly, which it never is. Well, with that, can't say much more than it's Monday. Four weeks to crack out. Is it four weeks? Better get in and start, and sooner we do, sooner we get the working week over with, sooner I can whinge the whole week away. <laughs> Wish me life away again. Terrible. Moving on. Hi guys, that's the working day over with. West one out the way, and as you can tell by the fact that Michelle's only wearing one coat, it's gorgeous up here at the moment. I can't see the screen, I don't know, can you see it? Uh, 16. 16 degrees but the sun's shining on, on us so very little breeze so it feels a lot warmer than that. Or well, 16, I'll take 16. And because it's so warm, we're going to go and get ourselves a Ploutman's type tea, aren't we? Pickles and onions and cheese and things. Because that's what you do in the summer, isn't it? And seeing as this is probably going to be our summer, you know, from past experience, generally get a week of it, then we'll go on holiday at Reds. Because Michelle's on holiday next week, we're edging our bets. Yeah. Anyway, let's get down to the show and get our tea. Okay guys, we've just stopped off for some supplies. Shush. And that was painful. Went to the self-checkout. Everything scanned first time, very unusual. Everything went in the basket in the bag, sorry, and he wouldn't accept it. Every single item, please put the item in the bag, wasn't it? And that took us five minutes to get through, five, ten minutes to scan everything on it. Mm. Scan a few items. No, I can't get off the car park because people are coming past. Well, with that, I'm going to make an effort. Moving on, let's get home. Please. Good Tuesday morning everybody, did absolutely no vlogging last night because what I did I came home and I went to sleep, then at 9 o'clock I woke up and I went upstairs and went to sleep, then at 2 o'clock this morning I woke up, damned insomnia, well, I can't even blame insomnia, you can't say it's insomnia can you, I slept for 12 hours or whatever, morning, morning. oh how, how did you sleep, not bad actually, I forgot my thing, so you slept through? Good old. Just hearing about the uh, Royal Wedding and we all excited for the Royal Wedding at the weekend. FA Cup final as well. Just in case you were wondering. Moving on. I'm going to have to remember to bring my key out for this car. Hey, Michelle's here. Moving on. Hi guys, that's the Tuesday working day over with. It's been gorgeous for a couple of days. And I was just thinking about cutting the grass when I got home and now it started raining, so I don't have to do that now. So that I'll have to wait for another day, tomorrow or Thursday, or Saturday, or Sunday, or this time next week, whichever one comes first. Uh, cut the grass last week, it's been the second cut. But 
desperate we needed doing and he cut it for very, very many times last year I couldn't seem to remember it raining all the time on the weekends and I took it as an excuse not to do it then we went on holiday and it grew then we came back it was raining and it grew then it snowed Anyway, that's us on our way home. First bus two days over with. Get through tomorrow halfway there. Michelle is now holiday minus three days. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. Okay guys, it looks like Michelle's found another favourite cooking programme, haven't you? Mm. Britain's Best Home Cook, is it called? Yeah, it looks like this is with BBC's horseshoe it in and make it look to replace what was um, Great British Bake Off. It's actually really, really good. Yes. The premise is eight people. Is it eight people? No, it can't be eight. It's like ten people. Ten people are took to a house. They live there for eight weeks and one gets knocked out every week, don't they? Oh, Michelle's um, enjoying it, aren't you? What? We found ten of the best. I don't know if they live this there all the time. The to shine. Whether they just live there like the weekend. Oh. Home from home with their fellow cooks. Oh, saying it, calling it home from home. Anyway, we'll find out. Michelle's enjoying it, like I said. Moving on. <coughs> Hi guys, what we've been doing is watching survival people, haven't we? Doomsday preppers. And you wanted to watch it to have a laugh at them, didn't you? Yes. And your conclusion now is? That it's actually not that funny. Admittedly, the scenarios are a bit far-fetched. Yeah, like the, the poles. Yeah, one, one of the scenarios were the, the, the poles. North and South Poles. North and South. Magnetic poles, sorry. We're going to flip. Because they do every, what is it, 300,000 years or something like that. And they reckon that when it flipped, it's going to cause huge continental drifts and stuff. No, that won't happen. Uh, the poles will flip, but it's not going to move anything because it's happened before. And another scenario was earthquake, an earthquake. Which is slightly more feasible. Yeah. An 8.0, slightly less so, but... You know, 3% they said, but they will have an earthquake. In the next 30 years. Yeah, yeah. And then there's one, a global oil crisis. Now, we've been through them before. Um, I don't... Yeah, okay, we're running out of oil. We're going to run out of oil anyway. So, that's inevitable. But as we move towards that, they're going to have to... They, we're going to have to find new sources uh, of energy, whether that be renewable or nuclear or whatever. But... I don't think it could be that catastrophe, a bit much of a catastrophe, will it? Where everybody will be rioting in the streets. Maybe when they f figure out their oil prices have gone up. Then a few people will get very rich. But anyway, that's what we've been watching. It was interesting. The uh, thing is, they got National Geographic, Geographic down to actually measure and give them a score of how well they would survive. Yeah, weird. Uh, one person, one lot fell down because they stored all the food in one place and if somebody attacked them they could nick all the food in one go um, another one what I don't know it was weird, I for, I'm forgetting it, I've just watched it so anyway with that nothing to add? no it was good, I think I'll watch the rest of them actually ok well uh, not now, obviously, because it's Tuesday night and we've in the morning. Mm -hmm. you got next week. Mm -hmm. You're on a holiday. Okay, so it's time for me to call it on the vlog. So with that, it's a good night from me. And it's a good night from him. Good night. See you all in the morning. Mm -hmm.